Now the question here is shape of the central groove in mandibular second premolar is. So we know there are two types of the uh, uh, second premolar. Okay, one is your two cusp type. Okay, and this is formed by four lobes, four developmental lobes, and then we have three cusp type, and this three cusp type is formed by five development lobes. So these are two important things which you have to keep in mind. Now I'll show you the various types. So here you can see these two are two cusp type. Okay, you can appreciate only two cusp are there. One is here and another is here. This is buccal cusp and this is lingual cusp. Now this one is your three cusp type. Three cusp type. Here you can see one that is your buccal. Then you have your mesolingual. That is the second cusp, and then you have distal lingual. Now, uh, we can always see here that the two cusp types show two types of groove pattern. One is your H, this is simulating the H letter. Then we have your U, simulating the U letter. And then we have Y, that is seen in the three cusp type, that is simulates the Y cusp pattern. Now, interestingly, three cusp type. Three cusp type are more common than the two cusp type. So this is an important information. And if we just talk about the incidence of the grooves, so Y groove is groove pattern is uh, most commonly found. Then we have the U groove pattern and then we have the H groove pattern. So this is another very important information. Another important information about the three cusp type, if you see here, you can see the buccal cusp is quite large. So if we just see the size of the cusp, then first we'll have buccal, then we have mesolingual, and then we have distolingual. So these are certain information regarding the second mandibular premolars, which is generally asked in the exam. So uh, I'll just give you the key concept uh, in which uh, important information about mandibular second premolars are given. So mandible secular premolars will show you Y pattern as well as U pattern and H pattern. Then the premolar that most frequently has a single central pit is your mandibular second premolar. Mesolingual groove can be found on the mandibular first premolar, but uh, it is not seen in the second premolar, it is seen in the mandibular first premolar. Another important uh, point is the maxillary first premolar shows the pronounced developmental groove on the mesial marginal ridge. This question has been asked many times in the exam and you have to be very careful about these things. So in the mandibular second premolar, we have two important formation, single central pit and the three types of groove anatomy. Then we have the mandibular first molar which shows mesolingual grooves and then we have the maxillary first premolar which has mesial marginal ridge, a uh, groove, developmental groove on the mesial marginal ridge. So going back to the question, so we have seen that Y and H shape, Y shape is seen in three cusp type and H and U shape are seen in two cusp type. So the answer to this question will be all of the above.